Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about code samples. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, my employer was looking for a code sample during my hiring process. What are employers looking for when they ask to see a sample of code during the hiring process for a programmer? So uh, it depends a little bit on the company and the interviewer and so forth and so forth because usually people look for slightly different things but the heart and soul of what people are looking for or employers are looking for when they want to see a code sample is uh, how do you think about coding or rather like the code that you write if it's like just you know a basic coding test I just want to make you you should just want to make sure that the person knows how to write some type of software and then you have someone evaluate the code test but if they are looking for see a, to see a code sample like a portfolio or something it's really down to the, a gut feeling mostly they want to see is this a serious software developer do they have like passion projects or things like that because the main blocks of what makes an attractive hire for any software company is number one hard technical skills and then the other part is soft skills and personal drive and passion and all these softer like personality types of things really so I like to say if you want to be applicable for literally every single practically every single job that you could possibly want you first and foremost need to have strong technical skills skills uh, and you know understand as well that some of it is computer science real uh, algorithms and stuff like that because coding interviews are 50 50 usually between writing things in a specific uh, stack and the other 50 is implement an algorithm that is obnoxiously uh, difficult and never useful in many cases in the real world but hey this is how this company value, evaluates you and this, this, the 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 sec the last part is the soft skills like the personal drive motivation and so forth because literally every single software company in the world is looking for high skill passionate sociable software developers they are the the gems of the industry and that, well that this is the, this is the gold standard if the gold standard for CVs is experience the gold standards for candidates that you want to hire are that type of archetype of a person usually almost all the time uh, and if I'm look if someone is asking you for a code sample it's usually the the, that this is what they're trying to figure out if you are that sort of person because the code samples as part of the coding interview well then it's usually as I said it's more about figuring out the skill part and if it's the uh, the portfolio thing it's usually very difficult to just look at the portfolio and say hey this person is really good or really bad uh, it's more about figuring out do you have the personality type because the popular thing, of course, is that, well, I, I suppose I, in a sense, I blame the tech industry for this because the purebred IT companies have built up this, for some companies, sort of expectation that, you know, all software developer has to be these, like, passionate super developers who code in their spare time all the time and they do it more for fun and then some companies even go as far to say oh no we don't want you to work here just for the money and I kind of go okay great then I hope that you know you don't uh, have that attitude towards people who are really really good because you see the argument about oh you shouldn't want this job just for money is sort of like you saying well you shouldn't just want to hire me because I'm cheap so it's uh, yeah, yeah it, there is this it, like illusion that software development is sort of like something you just do for fun and it's like yeah you should come and work for us because we only hire people who are the best of the best and the best of the best are people who have no other life than software development if you want to see tenfold of that problem go and try to be a games developer 
I can't imagine people in the software, like okay, programming, any type of programmer who has a harder time convincing people that they're doing something that is a serious endeavor, requires years of practice, enormous amounts of skill, and they should be compensated accordingly than a games developer. What? You're making computer games, right? Therefore, you should take a lower salary because computer games are fun, right? And I'll go, yeah. It's just that it takes enormous skill to do it and it's high risk and it's all this other stuff that you don't think about same thing with photographers and other people like the i like to say there people pe there are certain things in our world where uh, people make the mistake of thinking that just because something is easy to appreciate it is easy to do and so therefore they of course feel like it's of less value Photo f photographers and designers and people like that who like take uh, take out like a fair wage can sometimes get that like where like, the customer goes why is this so expensive well because i had to you know travel a great distance go to like a mountain or whatever to take that very nice and or like uh, nature picture that i took for your magazine or whatever that's why because like the traveling costs this amount and that's my work hours on top of that it's you know i didn't just pull this from instagram you f idiot anywho so what i want you to take away from this is that usually when people ask you for code samples it's one or two things either it's like a code test type of thing where like they want you to send like some sample project or something and that is where they usually inspect the code and just to check out like how what is your coding pattern it's more common that you get a code test from like a prepared thing right because they want to be fair about it but uh, that's usually more about just figuring out okay do you seem to know how to write software in a clean effective way if it's on the, on the other hand a code sample where they just want you to show off some portfolio stuff it's more really about trying to figure out do you have passion projects what's the complexity of those passion projects like what, what have you built so forth so you have it's 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 more the fluffy stuff if that makes sense because as i said most companies have this idea that the best of the best software developers are like it's basically like being an artist like all you do is paint or all you do is to play on your guitar or something like that uh, this is of course a very bad illusion that is just hurt uh, that just hurts people there is some truth to it in certain situations but i can tell you from first-hand experience that the best software developers in the world not all of them ha even have a github account or like a portfolio or something like that or something that you can show off i mean it's not really something that is the thing that determines whether you're good or bad and so you sort of have to just live with that illusion like that fantasy similar to how other groups of people other um, professions have to deal with these preconceptions about what it is what what is good what is bad and like what are you all about and so forth and so forth uh, so you kind of just have to deal with it honestly uh, it's probably not going to go away anytime soon but at the very least uh, it's a good investment for every software developer to number one make sure that you have strong technical skills number two make sure that you at least know how to like sort of fix uh, do, do some of these computer science algorithm things because quite often you have one or two situations either it's a coding test like a normal coding test with like a stack of some sort that you just build something or it's a more computer science stuff and then the soft skills is like the uh, one of the those things as well strong soft skills and personal drive and so forth and adding a few like smaller things to your cv just to show that you're actually an engaged software developer these are like the good practices to follow in order to be like the or best possible candidate that you can be for practically every situation in the hiring process. Have a great day.